Hey guys, I just pushed out uh, version 10.005 of ZimWriter and in it unlocks a very powerful new model for stable diffusion called Core. And let me show you some of the example images that ZimWriter can now generate if you select Core. It's the, the quality is mind blowing. Now it, it does still struggle with some hands and I'll show you that not all the time, but sometimes. Now this is not stable diffusion three that will be coming soon. This is just apparently this new model they released called Core. Now it is more expensive than the normal stable diffusion model. So the normal stable diffusion model is 0.3 pennies per image. So what a fourth of a penny per image. This core model is three pennies per image. If money's an object, maybe just use this on the featured image. But if you don't care spending an extra 30 cents on an article, yeah, you could use this for all of the different images that you generate. But it does have some misspellings with words and stuff like that. But other than that, it looks great. Look at this stuff. That's absolutely incredible. Look at that. There's some dad getting some skin on skin time. <laughs> like that just looks, it looks real. This is mid journey version six comparable. Now it does mess up sometimes. So look, he's, I don't know what it looks like. He's like doing drugs or something like that. And I don't know what he's sticking in the baby, but it does mess up sometimes. Now this one looks perfect. Now here's an example where and this, it just depends on your niche. I'll show you in a second, a special way to eliminate some of these problems. You know, you gotta be careful with hands. It will still screw stuff up, give you like six different fingers. I don't know. This guy's like sanding down a cucumber with a cucumber with 10 hands or something like that. And I go through some of these other than close-ups of hands. It looks great. That's fantastic. Go through some of these. This was an article on how to wash a seagull. Apparently you got to clean your seagulls. See, there's an extra wing right here. But other than that, it seemed really successful on the seagulls. I think this had, this had something to do with facial surgery or something. Doesn't that like defeat, that defeats the whole purpose of a mask? I think it's funny. <laughs> Look at some more of these things. These turned out great. They're like this protein thing. Pro, Perot powder. I mean, if you don't look close at it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, but if you pay attention to it, oh yeah, what, is, what does that mean? But still, it's pretty cool. What you could do is you could put this on your site and then you could put like a, a mask over this thing or like a filter to reduce the brightness and then put your title of your article over top and, and no one would know. It would look great. So you still get a blurred image uh, once or twice when it can't generate the image. I actually reached out to the Stable Diffusion team and I said, hey, you know what? Can you like notify me via the API when this happens so I can redo the prompt on the fly because it might pass the moderation check. And so we'll get the image, but the image is blurred. And so there's nothing we can do right now, but they're going to, they get back to me. They said, yeah, that's a good idea. So they're going to work on that. Now look at this. This is freaking great. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> All I'm going to say is zoom in a little bit on this one. <laughs> I don't know. That's unbelievable right there. You get some real winners out of this one. Oh yeah, I did a cat one. Some lipstick. Okay, yeah, you can go to the group now and, and search for this post. I, I tagged it at the top of the group, but you might be looking at this uh, video a couple months from now. So yeah, this is the, the 10.005 update. And I just, I finished writing an article while we were talking. And this was like how to wash a dog. So I used core for all of these. Oops. But, uh, so this is core. Looks great, doesn't it? The dog's floating on the water though. Who knows? Still, they turned out really good. Okay. So let me show you where you can access this inside of ZimWriter. <clears throat> so you can go to the bulk. It's in the, it's on all the areas where you have the AI writer. So, or the AI images. So bulk writer, SEO writer, penny arcade, and the uh, product roundup feature. So for example, we go in the bulk writer and you can choose your featured image. So featured image, you have pixels. If you don't want AI images, you can use Dolly. If you want to, if you want to do a Dolly image, this is the standard, like the normal stable diffusion that we had before. That's 0 0.003, uh, pennies. 
per image. So this is very inexpensive. And now this SDC standard, uh, uh, stable diffusion core SDC is the new core model. Okay. So this is uh, more expensive. So you might want to say, okay, you know what? I want to do like a cinematic for my featured image. And then for my subheadings, I'm just going to use like uh, photographic, but the normal stable diffusion. So it's less expensive. So that's something you could do, or you could say, I want an image for every other H2, stuff like that. So there's ways you can play with it to reduce the cost, but it's still very inexpensive. Now, <clears throat> I want to share one more thing with you. This isn't a new feature, but a lot of people don't know about this feature. And it allows you to really dial in your AI images to a specific website of yours very well. Let me explain something. So here's how to wash a dog. Here's the article we just wrote. Now with every article, you're going to get this mid journey prompt. You just get this for every single article you write inside of ZimWriter. Okay. And then if you want inside of ZimWriter, there's an option to display or create, I create and display a mid journey prompt for each H2. Okay. So your H2 would be, these are markdown. So this is an H2. This is an H2. So for each of those H2s, you'd also get a corresponding mid journey AI image prompt. Okay. And that's, that's what ZimWriter had before we had AI images in ZimWriter. But now that we have AI images, what ZimWriter will do is ZimWriter will take these mid journey prompts. Okay. And use them to create the images. So in the bulk writer, for instance, if you select the featured image, the prompt that's used to generate this featured image is this prompt right here. Okay. The prompt. So ZimWriter will create the prompt and then use the prompt to create the image. Same thing for these subheadings. Okay. For a subheading where we're going to create an image, it would use the prompt. Now I said, we're not going to display it for this output here, but if I had, you would have seen the prompt that was used to create this, this AI image for the subheading. Okay. You with me so far? All right. Now that you know that the prompt, the mid journey prompt that's generated for the featured image in all of the H2s is the prompt that's used to create all of the AI images, whether you're using Dolly or stable diffusion, okay. Inside of ZimWriter, you can tweak this mid journey prompt. Okay. As an example, let's say you're in a niche with, with cooking but you don't necessarily want hands and cutting vegetables because then you might get too many fingers or something like that. What you can do is you can click on the options menu and there's this button right here called customize mid journey prompt. Now you click it. Now check this out. This is, now there's a link up here that you can read more about this, but this is what ZimWriter uses by default to create this. So, so let me just walk you through it. So what happens is when ZimWriter, um, decides to create this mid journey prompt and, and then use that prompt to create the AI image. ZimWriter will feed this into open AI, write a prompt to generate an image. So write a prompt to generate an image without text for a blog post about title. It's a placeholder and the title would become the title of the article, which is how to wash a dog. Okay. Use detailed visual language that is specific, no text or words in the image, make the prompt less than 35 words. So what ZimWriter will do. ZimWriter will take this, replace this title dynamically, does it for every article it's writing with the title of the article. And then it takes this prompt and feeds it into open AI. And then open AI will return this right here. Okay. And then we take this prompt and then we feed it into Dolly or we feed it into stable diffusion. See how that works. Again, this is the prompt that we, we dynamically replace the title with, and then we feed it into open AI. We say open AI, create an image prompt based on this right here. And then it does, and it gives us that image prompt. Okay. And then if we decide to create an AI image from it, we ZimWriter will automatically feed this into Dolly or feed this into stable diffusion to generate the image. All right. If hopefully you understood all that. Now, if you did, ZimWriter allows you to override that default prompt. So as an example, write a prompt to generate an image without text for a blog post about title. I'm just actually copying in the, the default use detailed visual language that is specific. No text or words in the image. 
make the prompt less than 35 words. Now, that's for the featured image prompt. Now, this is identical to the default. We haven't really changed anything yet, okay? But just keep following me. The subheading prompt is almost identical, but there's another placeholder. So it's for a blog post about, oh, I spelled it wrong. Blog post about title in the context of subheading. Now, again, I am just copying the default prompt. You can completely make your own prompt if you want to, okay? But I'm just going to show you what happens now. So these images over here, how to wash a dog, were all generated using core based on that default prompt, okay? I'm going to tweak something. Now what we can do is we can tweak this and we can say something like add a cat to the image. All right, this is just an example. Save custom prompt. And now we can come in here with a bulk writer. We can put in like, why is the sky blue? Okay, so and normally an article when, when we're prompting the AI, it would have nothing to do with cats whatsoever. But now we can inject a cat into our image using that default prompt. Now you're going to have to play with the prompt some based on your particular niche because you can only force an AI to do so much stuff. Sometimes it might resist what you're trying to do with it. So I always recommend testing, testing it out, do a bunch of sample articles and see if you can dial in a specific setting for your particular niche. But the nice thing is like the goal is if you are like in a niche that there's a lot of hands involved, like for cooking or something like that, you can get rid of those. You can negative prompt them and tell open AI, Hey, when you generate the prompt, don't generate any, don't discuss any hands or fingers or things like that. And that might help you a little bit. So now we have the blue sky. All right. Why is the sky blue? But with a cat, obviously it makes no sense unless I guess people like cats, maybe they'll visit your site more, but yeah, that's how we can inject. And so here's the prompt. That's how we can inject um, what we want into the prompt. Create an image of a fluffy white cat gazing up at a bright blue sky filled with fluffy white clouds. Now, what's really cool, now this is what's really neat. You go back to the options menu in that customized mid journey prompt. So, you know, if you don't want to enable your override anymore, we can just click this box and, and now, now this will not be enabled anymore. But what you can actually do. For every WordPress site you added, remember you can go to the options menu and add WordPress sites up to a thousand WordPress sites. For every WordPress site you add, you can have different custom prompts. So let's say you have a, a site about cats, or let's say you have a site about dogs or a site about just whatever, like cars. You could prompt to, for your car niche, to create an image of a supercar or something like that something that somebody might want to, might really want to look at. So you can really do a lot with this, but you just got to play around with it. So you can assign it to each one of your different sites and, and really just get a custom prompt for all of your different sites. Very awesome. Yeah. So that's it. That's the update. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Just drop me a line uh, in the comments down below. Otherwise there's links to Zimwriter. There's links to the Facebook group, all that stuff's in the description below. Other than that, I hope you like the update and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.